Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walter's World and today we're in Berlin, Germany. We got the Fans Am Turm, the TV Tower, and the cathedral behind us and this is a really quintessential part is coming to Museum Island and seeing the great museums here in Berlin. But there's other things you need to do when you do come here aside from partying and seeing the history and that's eating. And today what we have for you are the five things that I recommend that you eat when you do come here to Berlin. And believe me, there's more than five things to have when you are here so make sure you put other recommendations down in the comments below. But these are my fa five favorites, the five things I recommend. I actually lived here for quite a few years, and these are kind of a, let's say a staple of my, my diet while I was here. And the first thing you gotta have, and the thing that is like a quintessential Berlin thing, is currywurst. Currywurst is a chopped up bratwurst drowned in curry flavored ketchup. Yes, it sounds kind of weird, and I'll be honest with you, it took me about a year living here before I ventured out to actually try it. And once I did, I couldn't stop. I mean, my kids, when we come back and visit Berlin, we're eating currywurst whenever we can. It's such a popular thing here that there's even a museum to currywurst in Berlin. So that's number one, is make sure you have your currywurst. And they'll sell it at the little shops and kiosks and embassies, you know, around town, so you can get it there. If you find some of the German restaurants here in town, um, they'll probably have a, a riesige, really big, uh, original East Germany or East Berlin currywurst. They'll, they'll have different names for it, but currywurst is one thing you have to have, okay? Second thing is, it's called a Berliner Weise. Berliner Weise is beer mixed with like a, a fruit syrup and mixed together. And it's usually either a red, which is kind of sweet, or a green, which for me always tastes like tree pine needles. <laughs> But that's a that's a drink you actually have here. Now the thing is, it's not super popular. Like you're not seeing people order it all the time. But it is a drink from here you can have. And usually I have the Berliner Kindle Weise. And Berliner Kindle is the lo one of the local beers here. I like it better than Berliner Pilsner, but whatever, it doesn't matter. You'll have a good beer time here. But the beer mixed with the fruit stuff, always a good thing. So Berliner Weise, don't forget to at least order one while you are here. Now, the next thing you should have when you come here is what made Kennedy so endearing to the Germans, the Ich bin ein Berliner, which translates to I am a jelly donut. Look, we have what's called a Berliner here, or a Pfannkuchen, or for my American friends, a jelly-filled donut, okay? Fried dough with jelly inside, yes. That Pfannkuchen, it's called a Ber Berliner here, okay? So make sure you have one, and then you can have your own silly picture. He been on Berliner, I'm a jelly donut. You know, so you can have that here, because that's one of the things you should have. And what's cool is, there's tons of bakeries around town, so you don't have to spend the money for the restaurant or the breakfast at your hotel or wherever you're staying. Just go out, hit up a bakery to get, you know, whether it's a Berliner or some of the other stuff, you'll be just fine, okay? Now the fourth thing I recommend for you to eat when you are here isn't so much a specific dish, it's more of a, it's more of a theme that I want you to go for, and that is Berlin is very international. And the two biggest international kind of food foods you can have when you are here, Turkish food and Greek food. You have amazing Turkish restaurants, amazing Greek restaurants, heck, you got amazing Indian restaurants and Spanish restaurants. You have so many international people that are here in Berlin. It's a really international city. It's not so Germany as it is international. And when you come here, you'll see that. So if you go to a place like Kreuzberg, that's where I would go to lunch like three or four times a week when I used to live here, because I go have Turkish or Greek or Indian or something like that. So definitely go check out some of the districts to get some really authentic international food when you are here, but especially Greek and Turkish by far the best and if you can't get there at least pick up a donut kebab while you are here you know it's like the, the meat and salad inside the bread kind of thing that's kind of like that or a bratwurst and or a curryverse so you're like you're walking around snacking food when you are here now my fifth thing I say for you is if you can find German food try it now the thing is, is Berlin is such an international city, you don't have a lot of German restaurants, okay? But there are some out there, and there's actually more now than there was when I lived here years ago, which is cool. And so if you are here, maybe you wanna try some of the German specialties that are from around here, or that are kind of associated with here. One is called Eisbein, and Eisbein is pork knuckle, or, or a ham hock, or a, a shank, you know, that big piece of meat there. Now in the south of Germany, it's on a spit and they roast it. A lot of times here, ice spine, well, that's called haksa, but ice spine is boiled, like boiled forever. It is still really good. You'll have that with, you know, sauerkraut and, and, and potatoes and stuff like that. Another German meat you might have, of course, is pork, and it's, it's called kassler, 
and basically what it is is like boiled ham like a thick boiled ham paste about this big about this thick it's actually pretty good you might have it with Käse spätzle or cheese noodles which is another german specialty you can have here but for me my favorite like german specialty i'd have when i was in berlin was the kartoffelpuffe which is basically like a potato pancake with applesauce on top oh it was so good okay now those are just five little things I want to tell you about to eat here when you do come to Berlin. Look, there's tons of other great stuff here, tons of really great restaurants. I mean, I love living here because you could eat anything you wanted anywhere in the city, and that was so great. So do explore the food here, and remember, tell us some other places to go eat and some other foods to have here in Berlin or Germany or wherever you're from in the comment section below. Anyway, I hope this helps you know a little bit what to eat when you do come here to Berlin. There is so many fantastic things. We've got other videos talking about five things to eat in different cities and countries around the world. And if you want to learn more, click that subscribe button because we put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday to help travelers know a bit more about the places they're going to go. Anyway, I'll say bye from Berlin and uh, guten Appetit. Which is like, you know, bon Appetit, guten Appetit. I think you'll figure it out. Tschüss.